Alrighty, so we're going to pick up um, and review back on question three. Circle hundredths to compose as many tenths as you can. Complete the number sentences right here and re represent each with a number bond as shown. This is the number bond right here. So we're going to circle the hundredths. Remember, the hundredths are the 0 0.01. Okay, and we need to circle how many? We need to circle um, t tenth, as many that makes ten. So let's see. Um, for B, okay, as many as it makes ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we are going to move and create a circle there. Okay, this I know does not make ten. But let's five up top, five on the bottom. That does make ten. Okay. So if we were to count this, we'd have ten, twenty. Then we're just counting by ones now. Twenty, one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, and twenty-seven. So how many hundredths do I have? I have twenty-seven hundredths. Okay. Now, if I were to split that down the middle, oops, okay, if I were to split that down the middle, how many tenths do I have? Two. Remember, count. How many tenths did we make? One, two. Okay, and on the right side, how many hundredths do I have? How many single hundredths did I have? I had seven. Okay, now we need to make it into a number bond. So how many hundredths do I have? I have um, 0.27, okay? That represents 27 hundredths. Um, now, What's my top, my numerator going to be? My top number, 2. And my denominator is going to be the tenths. Okay. Over on this side, what's my numerator going to be? 7. And my denominator is going to be 100. Another way that I like to do this, boys and girls, and you know... I like to split it down the middle, okay? Okay, and that way you can see. Um, on the tenth side, I have two tenths. On the hundredth side, I have seven hundredths. Okay, now let's move on to question four. Use both tenths. Oops, let me do that better. <laughs> okay, use both tenths and hundredths dis to represent each number. Write the equivalent in decimal, fraction, and unit form. Okay, so it's important to note here that a tenth... Um, a tenth disc is going to be represented as zero point one. That is a tenth disc. Okay, a hundredth disc is represented as zero point zero one. That is a hundredth disc. All right. Now. Um, let's go ahead and solve A, okay? So we have 3 over 100 is equal to 0 0.03, Zero point zero three. okay? How many hundredths is that? How many hundredths is that? It is 3 hundredths. Now let's um, draw the disc, okay? I have... How many hundredths disc? Three. So here's one hundredths disc, 
my second hundredths disc and my third hundredths disc. Okay? Now I'm going to move on to letter C. Same thing. Um, if I already have the decimal form, let's see how we can write it in fraction form. Okay? So here was my decimal form and here's my fraction form. Um, how many hundredths do I have? I have 72 hundredths. And what number goes on the bottom? The hundredths. Okay? Um, and then simple, simple, simple. If I had three on top and I have three hundredths, how many hundredths do I have here if I have 72 on top? I have 72 hundredths. Okay? Now, it's important to note, boys and girls, that uh, when we're dealing with double digit um, numbers, it's including the tenths disc and the hundredths disc. Let me show you what I mean. Okay? Let's start by splitting it down the middle. Okay? How many tenths do I have? Seven. And remember, tenths are represented by 0 0.1. And I should have seven of these. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven tenths. Okay? Now how many hundredths do I have? I have two. And remember, hundredths are represented as 0 0.01. And I should have two. Okay, let's go move on to last one, letter E. Okay, we don't have the fraction and we don't have the decimal, but we have the unit form. We have 7 tenths and 2 hundredths. Hmm, I wonder what number that would be. <laughs> we just did it up here, ladies and gentlemen, okay? So remember we had seven tenths, seven tenths, and two hundredths, two hundredths. What did that equal? Seventy-two. Okay, so if this is the same thing as this, I'm just going to copy it. So seventy-two is on top and hundredth is on the bottom. Uh, my decimal is going to look like 0 0.72. Okay? And same thing. How many tenths am I going to have? Seven. And remember, tenths are represented by 0 0.1. I should have seven of these. Sorry. <laughs> so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many hundredths should I have? Two. And remember, hundredths are represented as zero point zero one. And that is it.